Welcome to Perjury, guys. Grab a drink, or eat, and get ready for a fun-fueled night, folks. My name is Benjamin, and I shall be your lovely, funny, humble, smart, and incredible host for this evening. <laughs> and um, I am one of the many members of production that we have here at Perjury Org. Um, joining me on this incredible team are Rob, Oscar, Nick, Kyle, Haley, and the other Ben. Um, yes, that's right, we have two Bens on production. I am Benjamin and he is Ben. We had so many amazing applicants for this season and it was so hard having to whittle it down to just 24 people, but we finally were able to come to a decision and pick 24 people for this amazing cast and I am so, so excited to present them all to you. These 24 amazing cosplays are roaring and ready to go, and tonight we get to release the beast. Bimini! <laughs> um, we get to show you their meet me videos, their intro videos, the intro video that we have for the season, um, and also the wonderful tribes that they shall be joining. Um, they will be split up into three tribes of eight, and they will end up on either Yolandi, Tagela, or Pongala. Now, just before we reveal our 24 cast race, who will be fighting for the title of Soul Survivor and the winner of Perjury Season 1, it's time to go over some of Perjury's rules. Our live night reveal night, which is what is happening now, will go for around 45 minutes, and once it's all over, we'll be adding all of our contestants into their tribe chats, ready for a night to just socialize and get to know each other and maybe drink a little bit. Um, there'll be no challenge or tribal or anything tonight. Tonight is just a time for people to get to know each other, make connections, familiarize themselves basically with their surroundings. Um, it's just a time to get to know each other. So take it and enjoy it and do with that what you will. Uh, once you've been split into your tribes though, you are not allowed to communicate with anyone who is not on your tribe. I'm saying that directly to the contestants now. You cannot communicate with anybody who is not on your tribe. <laughs> I really need to press that in because it's really, really important and it's pivotal that the game stays like that because it keeps it authentic. In real Survivor, you don't get to just casually talk to people in the other tribe. You don't know anything and we want to try and keep that as similar as possible. <laughs> um, we also require castaways to add all of production, or at least one of us, we can add the rest of production um, to their Skype chats um, for alliances, whether it be one-on-one -on -one chats or like big alliances. Um, production needs to see everything that's going on so that we can kind of keep updated and also let our wonderful viewers know what's going on as well. Um, directly to the castaways, you will get what you put out of this. No, nope, you will get <laughs> what you put into this. Um, I can tell you now, it's so, so much fun playing these games. Um, and uh, honestly, you can take so much away from it if you just, if you put in enough. And I'm so excited to see everyone blow us away with their incredible games. Um, you will be required to make a confessional each round. Uh, this way we can watch along and unpack everyone's gameplay and also, we'd love to see people's own analysis of their gameplay and compare it to what's actually happening. Um, so we need a confessional. I think we're saying a minimum of like two to three minutes, but you can honestly post as much as you like. I know when I play games personally, I <laughs> I think there was one game where in one round of uh, three days, I think I posted about like, oh, uh, maybe like 40 minutes worth of confessional content. Um, but that's just me personally. Um, you can post two minutes if you want. Um, you can post text in your confessional thread, you can post pictures, memes, gifts, like go for it, give us as much or as little as you want, but the little is two minutes, please. <laughs> um, now, um, I'm so, so excited as well um, because we really want people to talk in their production chats as well because we can ask you questions and we are also offering um, live confessionals that way as well. So if you don't feel comfortable to speaking to a camera like this, um, you can ask for a live confessional and one in production can jump on, give you a call, ask some questions in a confessional and that could be a confessional for the round. Um, you will then post your confessionals on your confessional thread on the perjury form on NDIM. Uh, now, once this video is done and you've met everybody and you've met all the other contestants, uh, we will be sending a link for you to join the forum. Um, you'll make an account, we'll give you your um, access and you'll have access to your own confessional boards, your tribe, and um, like all of the rules, which we require everyone to read the rules and then sign it at the end. And you'll see what I mean when you get onto the forums. And if you need any help at all with the forums, you can always ask production. Um, we've all been through it, a couple of us several times. So we know <laughs> we know that it's a little tricky to kind of get used to it first. Um, what else have we got? You also have access to um, tree mail and any announcements as well. Um, and also to the dreaded tribal council, which I'm sure everybody wants to avoid. That's everything for the contestants for now. 
but lastly we want to thank the audience for watching along. We already have a really really excited view uh, viewers lounge for this season um, and they are so so excited to watch everyone play. I know I'm excited, I know all of production is excited, um, but I want to thank all of the viewers for watching along. I'm so excited to properly reveal everybody to you, so without further ado, here is contestant number one. that I need. Okay. Oh, hi. Um, I'm Elaine from Sydney, Australia, and I'm really excited about playing perjury with you. As you can see, I'm somewhat older, and whilst I'm physically 68, my mental age and attitude to life is around 30. My philosophy is to play and have fun every day. I like Lego, and I'm doing this Diagon Alley set from the Harry Potter collection and I love to play video games. I got hooked on gaming when I played Zelda on the Super Nintendo almost 30 years ago now. I'm currently playing Harvest Moon on the Switch. Uh, I don't know whether it's a good game or not, but I'm sticking with it. Like you, I'm a Survivor Tragic and I have seen every US series live since Series 2 plus, of course, all the Australian series. And now I'm watching the New Zealand series on 10 Play. If you want an alliance with a kind and interesting person who can keep a secret, then I'm the person you want. So let's talk. Hey guys, my name is Theo, I'm 20 years old and I live in Melbourne, Australia and the reason I'm playing Perjury, which I'm so excited by the way, is because I love meeting new people, which I don't often get to do because to be honest, my daily routine, my weekly life is pretty stagnant, um, so I don't meet a lot of people and when I do, I'm probably a little too scared to uh, make that connection in person, so what better way than being forced to meet people Online. I work a nine to five in a little office as kind of a media communications type person. You probably wouldn't know that I'm the video person by the way that this setup is going. I hope you're enjoying those shadowy vibes. When I'm not working or wasting my existence scrolling through TikTok, I enjoy going to the gym, which I mean, you also probably wouldn't know. Um, don't expect me to be a threat in physical challenges, even though I said that. I also enjoy a bit of ASMR, uh, foot baths, uh, do I need any more hobbies? Are any of them hobbies? I have a little podcast of my own. To be honest, I'm not a huge music person, but I think three of my favorite albums would be Jesus King by Kanye West, because y'all know we love God, um, Up All Night by One Direction, and maybe American Teen by Khalid when it came out at the time. And I think those three albums kind of sum me up a little bit. Anyway, I'm so excited to play. I can't wait to meet everyone. Thank you so much. See you soon. Perjury, all white band. Rappin' should be nappin'. This is Saki, little bit wacky career. Christian minister, character, not sinister. Wife, one, kids, three, wanna chat, plenty, on a topic, is 20. You, me, file two, agree? I am Lowell G. Lorzano, or you can call me Lulu for short. I live in the central part of the Philippines in an island called Bohol, which is home to infamous chocolate hills. There's like hundreds of them. And I'm so excited to be a part of Perjury Season 1 in South Africa. A little bit about me. I love adventure, 
going to the beach, swimming, snorkeling, um, and yeah, I think summer is the best season of the whole year. And I am a cat mom myself, so I have six beautiful cats. And I'm really excited to be joining this um, survivor-inspired game, and I'm hoping I could uh, meet a lot of wonderful people and you know have fun in the middle of this pandemic we still have to be positive and yep can't wait to meet you all We're back at it. Hey guys, I'm Abby and welcome to take two of my intro video because the first one resulted in a little bit of a mess. So I've had to refilm it and I am refilming it just a few days before we start. So that's a party. Yeah, so I'm filming this in my uni parking lot. Um, there are cars near me that are just uh, looking at me. I'm so tired. I hate my life. <laughs> I don't even know what I said in my original intro video. I'm a pharmacy student from Perth WA and I also work at an ice cream shop. Um, I'm playing on this game because Haley's my bestie and I kind of promised her I would. But partly that, partly I just wanted to because for fun. I'm an Aquarius Sun, a Virgo Moon and a Libra Rising. If you understand what any of that means, that basically just means I'm a hot mess for those who don't. Oh, one of my fun facts last time was that I had sunburn, but the sunburn's like gone. So that's not a fun fact anymore. I'm so excited to play this game. It's gonna be a party. I love parties, I love making friends, so this is gonna be fun. Um, and I can't wait to see you all there, even though I know I'm gonna be late, so I won't even be here watching this, which is probably a good thing because I'd be dying of embarrassment. Hi, this is future Abby editing this. I just realized I didn't say goodbye. Goodbye, see you soon. Ko Kate Woodboys, Toko Ingoa, no Kotirana, Koroatia me Ingarani Okutupuna, Kate Noho, Aokimangare. Kia ora, my name is Kate. Um, I'm a teacher, this is me. I enjoy science more than people should, and I'm okay with that. I'm also a big fan of um, a lot of pop culture stuff. I enjoy problem solving, which is, you know, part of why I'm a chemist. So I'm really looking forward to meeting everybody and kicking your asses. Hey all, I'm Aiden. I'm 21. I am 21, so, sorry, my birthday's on the 24th, so I guess by the time you're seeing this, I'll be 22, and I'm from Sydney, New South Wales, in Australia, and at the moment I just do part-time work doing production administration for an entertainment company. Uh, I love Survivor, so I'm super excited to be doing an online reality game. I honestly don't know 100% what I've signed up for and what the whole scope of this is going to be, but I am just so Actually, I'm actually super excited to be meeting uh, new people from across Oceania and Asia. I think that's such a cool opportunity. We get to do such a great benefit from this whole craziness that's been the last 12 months of the world, what even. Um, I'm a big pop culture nerd too, so if you like MCU, let's talk about WandaVision, 90s R&B, uh, 80s action adventure movies, um, love all that stuff and could always use new movie music TV recommendations, so definitely hit me up. Um, I'm also a big theatre nerd, uh, love musicals, both performing and the production side too, so um, love a good sing-song, love a good boogie, so yeah, if you um, love musicals, let's definitely talk. <laughs> 
Um, but other than that, I'm just super excited to meet all of you. I'm ready to just have fun and let's kill it. <laughs>
love everything outdoors still as well. Uh, yeah, so that's a little bit more about me. This is the meet me video for Hugo. Alright, so hey gang, it's your boy Hugo Christopher Henry Moss. You get my full name because you're so goddamn special. I know. Um, but a few little things about myself. I'm 18, I just moved out of home, so it's a bit of a crazy experience. And I'm super excited for this competition to begin. Uh, I live in Tasmania, which is, um, it's a little, it, was, it is a little island off the bottom of Australia. And it's pretty nice down here. It's pretty nice. Um, really enjoy it. It's a bit quiet. Maybe, you know, I'll move up to the mainland in a few years from now. After I get my degree, I'm doing a degree in business. And that is very fun. Um, but yeah, like I said, super excited for this game to begin. I'm a little bit extroverted, a little bit introverted, probably more introverted than extroverted, I'd say. As you can probably tell, I keep on finding ways to distract myself when recording this video. Like, I just saw a screw on my little studies carpet. So, you know, I'm very social, very social. No, but should be fun. I'm super excited to meet everyone. And let's get this show on the road. I'm so excited for this competition to begin. Good luck to everyone. And, yeah, let's have some fun. Hi everyone, my name is Alicia and I'm a 20 year old bartender from Brisbane and I am single. My hobbies include drinking, hanging out with my mom, skating, eating hot chip, charging my phone and watching the same four YouTube videos over and over. What I'm hoping to get out of this competition is a really good relationship that I hope will continue to grow outside of the com- pun? This isn't all you the one. Survivor, got it. I'm sorry. What I'm hoping to get out of this competition is make some new experiences, you know, make some friends, and I'm just keen to show the world what I've got. Fun facts about me, favorite color is pink. I have a bachelor degree. I have an Auslan certificate, and I have a cat named Puddy and two mice named Spatula and Plug. So I'm very keen to see you guys out there. Thanks. G'day boss, uh, my name is Ben, uh, I live in Canberra uh, in the ACT. Um, I'm originally from Sydney but I'm currently at university uh, in my fourth year actually doing a double degree in um, economics and political science. Um, I'm 21, uh, you may be asking why I'm wearing sunglasses uh, inside and at night. Um, it's actually because I broke my normal glasses uh, a couple of days ago so these are the only things I've got with my prescription so you'll have to put up with that for a little bit hopefully. I can get that fixed soon. Um, I said I'm 21, but I only learned to drive a car last year. Uh, that, kind, that kind of sums up my life, I think. Um, so, you know, a bit late to that. Uh, I hate I hate filming myself like this. It's so hard to make things fun. Um, interesting facts about myself. Um, I can ride a bike. I ride a bike uh, everywhere, really, because I can't drive. Um, I've got a terrible book buying habit. I just buy books all the time and about most any topic, really. Uh, I haven't finished a book in a long time, though, but I suppose that's a classic thing you would do. I have a very unorthodox sleep schedule uh, where I will get, you know, on the smaller end, two hours sleep a night, on the upper end, 12 hours sleep a night, but it's just kind of life of a student, I suppose. Um, other oh, hobbies, what do I do? What do I do with my time? Um, I play a lot of chess. Uh, that's uh, something I've been doing for a really long time. Actually, I find it really calming and I find it really interesting. Uh, so, you know, hit me up if you can play chess and want to play a game or if, um, you know, if you want me to teach you chess, I can do that. 
Uh, what else do I do? I'm not that interesting. I'm a person. It is what it is. Hello, pre-jury. How's it going? This is Alex. Um, I am one of the many contestants that you will hopefully fall in love with or at least enjoy kicking out of your team. I uh, want to describe myself. I'm, I'm a uni student. Uh, I'm starting to be a uh, English teacher. Um, that being said, I am no good at uh, reading or writing. Um, but I will be an amazing jokester. Uh, it will be a lot of fun. Um, I am ready to make some really great friends. Um, let's see, I'm from the Central Coast, uh, which is a little north from Sydney. Um, I'm uh, a youth uh, leader at my local church. I'm a school chaplain or well-being officer at a local high school. Uh, and um, yeah, I got that wrong. I'm actually a public school at a public school, a primary school. Uh, I like myself a couple video games, I like myself a little sports, I like myself a little, uh, board games, I'm a bit of a nerd, um, but yeah, I think I'm going to really enjoy, uh, pre-jury with you guys, um, and yeah, gloves are off, let's go. Hey guys, big old Johnny Tan here. I know that in the photo I sent you I was the Punisher, but today I'm Deadpool and I just want to wear a fedora just for the fun of it. And this is the immunity idol that I got in um, Pedro. Nah, I'm just joking. Just wearing it for fun. Um, so, anyway. Hi, my name is John Tan. I'm 26 years old. I am also a um, stock taker and work at a food factory. I'm also waiting to get into the army... Reserves. I've got my army training in mid-June coming up, so big one for me. Um, my hobbies are going to the gym, I love music, I've been playing drums since I was 12 years old, and I also do a bit of singing and piano in the background. I've also been doing Muay Thai for about two years and boxing for six months before Muay Thai, and I'm into martial arts, so I'm hoping to go to Interclub this year with Muay Thai and then try out Jiu-Jitsu and MMA. Um, also about me in my spare time, you know, I've got, I've got one sister, older sister, we're both Survivor fans, we both love Survivor, we also, um, enjoy, we've been watching all the seasons, I've been watching Survivor since I was eight years old, and, yeah, I've also applied for Survivor, Australian show, season two, and I almost got on the show a couple of years ago, so, yep, that's one thing you guys get to know about me, so... That's all. I um, look forward to meeting all in with you and just having a laugh with you. And by the way, I'm not a smoker. I just felt like having a zero just to put on a show for the lols. Peace out. Hi, um, I'm Roshane. Uh, I'm currently in my car sporting like this really cute, um, like I've been running outside in the wind look. Um, and oh, little surprise, I'm just having a little snack. Uh, it's a KFC popcorn chicken go bucket, the only acceptable meal from KFC. Not the greatest. Um, aside from my introduction, I'll rate this one a four out of ten. Um, but like I said, I'm Roshane. You can call me Roshane or Madam. Or I guess you can call me Sheen or Ro, but if you call me Ro-Ro, um, I'm, I'm coming for you. Like, that's the number one red flag that I could ever see. I'm 21. I live in Sydney. I think I'm going to be doing a lot of things in my car because it's my favourite place. This is Heidi. I love her. Um, I'm an Aquarius. My Maya Briggs type is an ENFP or an ENFJ if I'm feeling real wild. 
Um, what other fun facts can I tell you? We'll like give like a brief intro to how I'm going to play. Um, can't really think of anything, so that's probably a good indicator of how I'm going to play. Bit bit of a silly billy I am, so um, super keen to play. I probably will look like this like 95% of the time, and I'll probably be drunk 100% of the time. So it'll be really good. Uh, cheers. Hi guys, this is Jean coming to you pre-recorded from Singapore where I am very distracted by these reflections on my glasses. Um, things about me, first things first, I don't usually sound like that because otherwise you can't understand me, me. Alright, but um, hopefully by the end of the game some of you will. I'm trying to bring Singlish to the Aussies, to the peeps outside of Singapore, okay, while remaining understandable. Um, and also I'm just hanging out with my biggest fan because it is hot all year round. Um, anyway, I'm 26, uh, I'm just waiting to start work as a pediatric nurse. So before I go off and have fun with the kids, and yes, sick children need to have fun too, um, I'm really looking forward to just all the games that we'll play and all the challenges and Hopefully drama, there'll be drama for me to watch uh, and not participate in, but hey, who knows? Um, yeah, really looking forward to meeting you all. And uh, what else can I say? Yeah, I'm just not used to this. I'll never judge vloggers and influencers again. This is hard. See ya. <laughs> Hello, my name is Max, I am 24, I live in currently sunny Hamilton, New Zealand, and I am a full-time student. I am not the mega fan of Survivor like some of you guys might be, but I do watch it amongst other shows like The Challenge, The Circle, um, The Genius, and Big Brother, primarily UK Big Brother as you can see behind me there, and I'm here to have a good time, have a fun time make some friends and uh, yeah, maybe get a bit competitive. I don't mind doing that. I am a avid board game player and collector. I have quite a lot of my collection and if it's anything like playing a board game or anything like that, I think I'm gonna have a fun time and I think everyone else is gonna have a fun time too. I hope I come off, you know, all cheerful or happy and I think that's a very calm, lax sort of person that I am. So for everybody, it's going to be a fun time, and I can't wait to see you guys out there on the challenges, and uh, may the best person win. I'll see you soon, guys. Hey, everyone. My name is Joseph Bates. I'm 28 years old, I live here in Sydney, and by day, I'm a corporate lawyer, actually. And by night, I'm also a corporate lawyer because our hours suck and I don't want to do it anymore. I actually did a lot of fun things before I was in law. I was uh, a ski instructor in the US for a while. Um, I worked at the checkout at Woolworths in my hometown. I was president of my law society at uni, which practically was like a full-time job, but unpaid. Um, and I also worked in a medical research lab um, to be able to looking chemotherapy drugs because I have a science degree, which I do not use anymore, but I still pay for, um, which is why I work in law because it helps pay the bills. Anyway, why are you gonna like me? Well, one, I love me, but I'm funny, I'm outgoing, have a nice sense of style. Um, but I'm also going to be great with the challenges. I think my tribe's going to like me because um, I'm really good at puzzles or critical thinking skills. I'm also a bit of a social butterfly. Um, I get along with all kinds of different people. Um, I'm a good listener, 
a good talker. <laughs> and I guess people always ask me, like, what do you want to do with life? Deep question, I know, but I say to myself, Well, well, <laughs> <laughs> next question. Well, really, in reality, I just want to be on Survivor. And this is a practice run and the next best thing, so I'm going to win this and then I'm going to go on the show and win Survivor. <laughs> See ya! Hi. I'm Adrienne. I am in my naughty forties. I'm from the Central Coast, New South Wales. Um, my thing that I would like to say is don't underestimate me. I may be blonde, but I'm going to kick some serious butt. Um, my biggest strengths are going to be all the puzzles and um, the brainy things. Um, and I, I might surprise you with a few of those physical challenges. Um, things that I like to do, I like gardening, reading books, um, going to the beach and going out, having fun. Um, yeah, so anyhow, I'll see you at the end. So I am. My name's Sean Higgins. I'm 35 years old and I'm from Sydney. I run a cocktail bar night up within the CBD. At the moment it's a Thursday night at 10pm. It's raining. Couldn't be any better. Uh, a little bit about me. I'm originally from the Gold Coast. Uh, I'm a twin. Uh, I've done a lot of travelling over the years. I've been to 60 different countries, all seven continents. So that was like a massive achievement for myself. I uh, grew up around just in the, in the beach and the bush. Uh, from a small town, kind of a farm kid, now a city kid. Um, like to hang out with mates, love the dance, uh, love going out for drinks, uh, love doing things that not many people get to do, um, put myself out of my comfort zone, uh, just being a real bit of a moron, to be honest. Uh, so I'm really keen for this, so let's go. I'm 24 and I'm from the Gold Coast, the rainy Gold Coast at the moment. Um, and I work as a bookshop manager. Um, I absolutely love Survivor. I'm very excited to get my teeth into this uh, online game. I'm very over competitive and I'd like to cause a little bit of chaos um, as well. So this should be really exciting. Um, just sometimes my good nature can get in the way. But anyway, um, more to know about me. I, yeah. I've loved Survivor since I was a little girl. Um, I last year had a Survivor themed birthday party where I set up six different challenges and hidden hidden beauty idols as well um, while camping. So that was super fun. Um, otherwise, I absolutely love skiing and snowboarding. I did two seasons over in Canada. Um, wish I could be back at any moment or be over in Japan as soon as the borders are open. Otherwise, I'd probably be outside hiking in nature, going camping, reading a book. Those are my favorite things. Um, otherwise, yeah, lovely to meet you guys. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Hi, hi, hi. I'm Riley Harding. I'm 22 years of age from Brisbane, Australia. Um, I currently work at Woolworths part-time, but also freelance graphic design um, on the side. Hopefully I can get somewhere further in that because 
I don't want to be in stocky shelves for the rest of my life, you know. Um, but anyway, enough about that. Um, some interesting things about me. I love indie pop music. That is my thing. Um, love escape rooms. That is my go-to. Love to drink. So if you like to drink, please hit me up. Um, love the beach. Love mountain hiking. You know, everything. Um, I am very arty and creative, so I love photography, graphic design, you know, all of that. Um, an interesting fact about me is I have a random collection of snow globes, as you can see. Um, so yeah, welcome to my room and welcome to my snow globe collection. Um, so yeah, I guess I will see you guys in the game and I look forward to meeting you all and talking to you soon. Bye. Oh, hey. Sorry, I didn't see you there. <laughs> uh, well, where are my manners? Sorry, I'm James. I'm, uh, 21 years of old age. I'm, uh, from Geelong, Victoria. And I work full time in real estate and I also work, um, as a bartender in a cocktail bar. So, if you're ever at this stage in this game and you're like, oh, damn, I need a drink. Or, even if you enjoy a, cheeky cocktail or wine or whiskey or a beer slide into my dms well actually just slide into my dms regardless um that's all i can ask but if you're on a saturday and you're like hey you know what i've got a few ingredients in my fridge i want to know what i can make for an epic cocktail well you know what there's a good thing there's a bartender in this cast and uh his name is jimmy boy james call me jim james jimothy <laughs> Uh, don't mind that office preference. Um, but yeah, ha check out the shirt. It's got a few different beers on there. Cheeky. Not bad, not bad. But yeah, um, I look forward to playing this game with everyone. And uh, I look forward to getting to meet new people. It should be an absolute hoot. And yeah, for all your party requirements, uh, Jimmy Boy is in the house. Oh, and one more thing before you go. If you need a hand at all in the game, you know you can always talk to production, but we also do have our Frequently Asked Questions page on our website, perjuryorg.com. Alrighty, that's enough from me. Survivors ready? Go!